Hi, I'm Tam Stickerly. And I'm Erin Reistock. And welcome, thanks, <laughs> and welcome to the 2018 Paralympics! <laughs> Battle of the Curl, Curl Edition! edition. <laughs> Our competitors, Marigold Murphy and Leticia Garcia, are here today. Leticia from Mexico. And Murphy from Ireland. I hope they bring their A game today. They sure should. And guess what? It's such a lovely day today. It sure is. This mic. I know. Let's just Okay. <laughs> here we <laughs> As we all know, curly hair is the worst to manage. It's amazing to me that these women have even survived this long with curly hair. Let's give them a round of applause just for their effort. <laughs> they struggle with maintenance every single day, and they are just truly an inspiration to all of us. Truly an inspiration. <laughs> Here we have Murphy supporting a lovely leotard in honor of her grandmother who taught her everything she knows. <laughs> Weighing at 125 pounds, really? <laughs> and hair height of 3 inches, hair length of 36. You'd be half surprised at how long curly hair can get. Wow. From root to end, she is really aching for the championship. And here comes Garcia with her secret weapon, the bobby pin. She seems to be wearing the hair tie complete with hair around it with a, as a bracelet. Weighing in at 118 pounds and two inches of hair height, it's obvious that her weakness is volume. What do you think of the hair bracelet? Is that even allowed? Let's not split hairs here, Erin. Oh. <laughs> we'll have to see what she does with it. The competition is just about to begin here, as the arena is filling up with tension. As we all know, split ends are the athlete foot of hair. That's gross. You're absolutely right, though, Erin. <laughs> what do you think is going on in their minds right now? Well, I would say, Tam, they're likely thinking, did I retreat enough, or was that last year really worth it? <laughs> or they're thinking, wow, the catering today really sucked. I can still taste that tuna. <laughs> and here we go! Murphy is trying to stay very still, hoping the light doesn't reflect, reflect her split ends. She's very clever, isn't she? Very clever. <laughs> wow, Mexico is attempting the splits as she's checking her split ends. This has never been done before. Leave it to Murphy to push the envelope. She's going to razzle-dazzle her way here. What a competitor. And Murphy wins with three points. Morgan Garcia? Starting off with five points against her for Mexico. <laughs> Round two, humidity. <laughs> Bottle contains a specific chemical that replicates exactly 105 degrees of humidity. Now tell us what we're looking for here, Erin. Total control over all three Fs. Frizzy, fuzzy, and of course, floppy hair. <laughs> As we all know, Mexico holds the current record for withstanding humidity due to Mexico being under the equator belt. I didn't even know that. Did you know that, Murphy? I did, Tam. Oh, good for you. But let's not underestimate Ireland. Murphy's DNA may resist humidity more as it's been curl trained under humid free conditions for decades. Murphy wins again with a full five points for this round. Things are not going well for Garcia today. Her curls don't seem to be behaving. This is what we call a bad hair day. Let's see what the special tricks she brings out in round three. Round three, wind control. Competitors will be choosing the right hair products for their curls and then giving themselves a blow job.
<laughs> Garcia choosing the heavy cream for her fine curls. Not sure if that's the right choice. She seems a bit unsure. Maybe she's trying something new for the competition. <laughs> Murphy is using the light foam mousse, which is an easy to go to, less time to dry, and excellent choice for this situation right now. <laughs> Never a good sign. Always stick with what you know. But she seems to have <laughs> gotten herself and gotten you, you wet with product. <laughs> she got it all over my leg. Oh, ladies, this is what happens when you explode everywhere and get cream all over your face. Yeah. <laughs> They're moving on to blowjobs now, but it looks like Garcia is tangled up in her own cord. Does she even have time for a natural curl dry? I don't think she does. This is a hairy situation indeed. Oh. I almost can't look. If I were Garcia right now, I'd want to curl up and dye oh. my hair. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, Murphy is on top with a diffuser in tow, and she's almost done. Garcia is still tangled in the cord and barely has time to dry. Murphy wins this round by three, five victorious points. Alright, just look at how happy she is. Look at that bounce. Wow. Garcia gets a point for effort as we move into round four. <laughs> round four, four. up to <laughs> Welcome to the evening where part of the competition, styling and up to My favorite. And, and mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? Anything. The wilder, and the better. The wilder, the better. I, I agree. Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Aaron. Go big or go home is what we say around these parts. They can use as much accessory and styling products as you can handle. This is the one that they've been training for their entire lives. And it's up to them now. We'll see who has the nerve to steal to take. And time's up. <laughs> they look stunning. Why the transformation? <laughs> Murphy has created a fashion forward updo, complete with bows and frills. Incredible. While uh, Garcia has gone retro trick, chick with a simple 80s messy bun and a sombrero. sombrero? <laughs> are in. Garcia with 12 points and Murphy with a total of 19 points. Almost a perfect score for round four, bringing us to close today with our championship of the Hair Olympics. Miss Marigold Murphy, you are the crown winner.